You're listening to episode 25 of the Bookcast for Dwell, an Advent study in liturgy. This bookcast has been designed to give you another way to dwell with the content of the book. Hi, my name is Rachel Fahrenbach. I am the author of Dwell and your host for these episodes. Today, we're continuing in week four with day two as we dwell on scripture. So at this time, I'm going to ask you to hit pause on the bookcast and read Isaiah 52 and 53. All right, go ahead and go do that. Welcome back. Now, I'm going to ask you to reread the two passages with the following in mind. As you read, consider the included imagery of Jerusalem enslaved, dirty, and sorrowful, arising with strength, removing her bonds, and adorning herself with beautiful garments, fully redeemed, a cause for celebration and joy. Consider the phrase, How beautiful on the mountain are the feet of those who bring good news. Isaiah is referencing the idea of a messenger bringing news of victory or a herald making a royal announcement. The Greek equivalent for good news is gospel. Consider the statement, you are sold for nothing and you shall be redeemed without money. In verse 3, this redemption will require a different type of currency for the buyback purchase. Note how verse 12 echoes the Exodus story, but includes a plot twist. Where the Jews were warned their deliverance would be hasty, this time around it's not. This suggests a peace that comes from knowing what God has accomplished in the past, he can do again. As you read the rest of Isaiah 52 and chapter 53, look at how the servant will be prosperous and influential while also being rejected and considered inconsequential. He will be a descendant of King David but he will not be considered a king by those around him. Consider the imagery of Israel as sheep scattered towards their own desires and wisdom, even their shepherds, political and religious leaders. As you read, consider how God's servant, the Messiah, is one of the sheep, a human descendant of David. Verse 2 refers to the root of Jesse prophesied earlier in Isaiah. He is also the priestly shepherd offering the sacrifice, and the blameless lamb used in the sacrifice. At this time, go ahead and reread Isaiah 52 and 53, keeping everything we just discussed in mind as you do. Thank you for joining me today as we dwelled on scripture. Join me here tomorrow as we continue to dwell with God this Advent season. 